Hello all, I am doing this video to introduce you to something that has just been introduced to me that I've used in my classroom over the last couple days and I'm so excited about it, I wanted to share it with you right away. It's called Classroom Screen and I'm just gonna go through a few of its features really quickly to give you the gist of what you can do with it and some ideas on how you can use it in your classroom. So this website, it's not an app or an extension or anything, you just go straight to the website. Um, what's really cool about it is you are able to put this up as the background on your screen, say after you've given, you've given directions for a task that you want your students to complete. And it's kind of a classroom management system with extras. So first of all, you can change the language of whatever, you know, the features are down here. So if you're in a class where it's um, teaching a Spanish class, you could even have all your little things in, in Spanish, all your icons and such. But one thing, you can make it pretty, which I like. You can choose a background and it will update the background to whatever you want your background to be for that day. Um, there's a name randomizer feature. So if you put in your students' names, you can use it to choose students for an activity like for groups or you know something along those lines. You can make anything you add to your wall disappear by clicking the X. Um, let's say you are trying having an issue with students being too loud in the classroom, you can give them a visual reminder by allowing the microphone feature, put it up in an upper corner or somewhere on the screen, and as you as your students are talking, it will monitor them for you to the sound level. So I'm going to make my microphone a little less sensitive, but there you go. So you can make it as much or as little as you want in your classroom just by adjusting the this feature. Okay, so you can make it lower and the students know when it's green, they're good. When it's red, they're a little too loud for whatever the task is and you can raise or lower that depending on the desired noise level in your classroom. Another feature, I have one-to-one -one Chromebooks in my classroom, so I've been using this little reminder here to remind students what their Chromebooks should be doing while class is going on. Let's say it's independent work time. Well, Chromebooks are green. If it's something where I need their attention for a few moments, I might change it to yellow. If they're supposed to be closed, it's there, it's red. That gives them a visual reminder of what the expectations are for them. There's also a timer feature. You can do it as a hourglass or just as a, a standard you know, stopwatch. But this has been good for rotations. There's a little chime that you hear at the very end uh, when it goes off. Let's see if I can play that for you as we're doing this. So what's really cool about it is it has other features like QR codes. If you're in a class where you use them often, there's a little chime. Um, you just put in the website that you want. Here's a shameless plug for my website. And then there you go. Click enter, it changes the QR code, and that QR code will send them to whatever website you want your students to access. And you can do, I believe, two of any feature. Okay, so maybe you have two groups going at the same time or something along those lines. Maybe one to get started and then the next one for you know the activity that they should be finishing. It's only limited by your, your imagination. There's draw features. You want to have some drawings up. There's a um, a smaller drawing. You can add text. What I've been using this for is posting my objective each day and then giving the instructions for what I stu want students to do. And again, this would be just kind of your kind of your wall instead of that blank screen or the just a list of activities. You can post this. And another thing that I really like is this feature where you can tell the students using a visual reminder what the expectation is for the noise level. This is another reminder that you could use in conjunction or on its own. So if they're supposed to be working independently and silently, whisper, small group discussion, working together, you get the idea. So this is just something I wanted to share with everyone and hopefully you'll find ways to make it work in your classroom too. Thank you for watching.